What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the best podcast. It's probably not the best podcast of all time, but it's the best one you're listening to right now. I am joined today by two very funny people. Uh, I've got for with us for the very first time ever, Mr. James Boucher. He's been doing comedy in the St. Louis scene for about three and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years. Three and a half about years. There. He's a very funny guy. Uh, we've been hanging out. He's just a cool dude. I thought... Uh, actually, he asked if he could come do the podcast <laughs> because he left his water well, bottle you, in here. Or you did. Ask, you asked me a long time ago if I like yeah. if I would come do it, and then I left my water bottle here during another podcast uh, a week or so ago. I'm like, well, that gives me an excuse to come do this podcast. I feel like sometimes <laughs> I feel like. Uh, an evangelist because I go around to open mics and I'm like, instead of talking about the Lord, Dude. I'm like, so would you like to do my podcast? So uh, would you like to hear the good mm. word? Would you like to hear the best? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I was, I, I am, I don't give a fuck who it is. If anyone wants me to like, feels like wants to have me on, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Like, I'm well, like, I hope so. I it, like it, it's, it's just like, well, I've always been a stand-up fan, but like I never got the inclination that I might be able to do stand-up mm-hmm. if it wasn't from like listening to comics on podcasts. So like I don't, it it it's just such it feels like it's just a part of doing comedy now. So like it, it's just fun to come and do it. That's why, yeah. The like I said, we were talking about this before I turned the cameras on about how all of it is about like pre-production. Like what you do beforehand to make it go smooth. Because I thought it was just like, sh- turn on cameras and be funny. Like yeah. I was like, I can be funny. I'm funny all the time no. with my friends. This is going to be easy. And now I'm like, the, uh, this like, is so much you're work. You're like, what the fuck's an XLR cable? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Before we get too much further, I would like to introduce uh, our quiet but not unimportant second guest. <laughs> we kind of got off on a tangent. Yeah. Please welcome back Rick. Uh, We work together. Uh, This is Rick's second time on the podcast. Uh, It's actually his fifth time on the podcast, but the first three times got deleted. Uh, (laughs) Things get a little dicey. First time there was some production issues. Second time we would think we were just a little off. And then the third time was just wild. (laughs) So James, uh, the... Just because we were talking off camera and you told me that you had no idea this even had a name. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> you were like, I thought it was just a podcast. So, I, th- I thought it was the Eric Russo show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the whole idea behind the podcast is anytime anybody asks you, what's the best this, what's the best that? It's just like anybody's answer is just their opinion. There's no yeah. scientific way to prove Michael it, Jordan is better than LeBron James. It's It's... So what I thought I would do is come on, ask a bunch of funny people to like, what's the best cheeseburger? What's the best this? What's that? And then have them defend their answers. Okay. And whoever has the best answer, I don't know, wins the round. <laughs> wins you know, the- like, like, originally, I was wins gonna, the podcast. <laughs> originally, I was gonna do. Uh, Whoever loses has to take a drink. And then comedians came on and they were like, I'm drinking now. Yeah, I, like, I'm not waiting. Like, oh, I lose. And then they would just, oh, oh, and then it just became who could drink oh, the most. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for coming on, buddy. Yeah, um, no, thank you for having me. Yeah. I was like, uh, I'm excited. I'm always excited to come do a podcast. Like, it, it just, it, it gives me this, like, this false <laughs> sense of, <laughs> like, <laughs> It makes me feel important <laughs> for some reason, but no, thank you for having me. This is cool. It is. And like your your setup rules, I think it's cool that you do this. Like, it, well, it's better now. It's better now, and I hope there's more installed uh, that'll come pretty soon. As soon as I unroll it and <laughs> hang stuff. But yeah, you know what? I found a whole bunch of ways how not to do a podcast. <laughs> <is> what I did. <laughs> right? Just the trial and error. I did the old Thomas Edison route. <laughs> <laughs> it took me old. Only way I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wanted to ask this. Somebody, yeah, let's get into somebody it. sent me in this question and I'd like to read it off, but they said, please don't use their name. Okay. I don't know why, but they just said, which animal 
would give the best massages. Which animal? Get, oh. Yeah. I, th- I, I personally thought when I first read it, I was like, this is an open and shut case. Everybody knows an octopus would give the best oh, massage. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I was I was kind of in the same mindset. I was thinking like a snake. Yeah. I don't I, know. I feel like it would just be a really tight squeeze. Oh, and then yeah. octopus would probably fuck you up too, though. That's a little too much. I don't know. I don't know. Can you imagine <laughs> can you imagine just like laying well, I you're mean, laying on the table and they're like, Do you have any problem areas? And you're like, Yeah, my neck's real stiff, and it's like <laughs> like that, like you know, the suction cups, and then like anything else, and you're like, Well, my back, and then at the exact same time, your back, and then your legs, and then you're like everything all at once and they're just like yeah and i have two over <laughs> tentacles that- I, i'm not trying to like take but like i just immediately think about like octopus <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like, immediately, i immediately think of, <laughs> but now, now you're giving the octopus like i'm not power. like I'm, <laughs> this is, see this is <laughs> like what are your everyone... problem areas like my back my neck you know my you know yeah, like <laughs> 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 but that, I mean, you're giving the octopus special powers, though, like, by being able to communicate with you. Oh, like, yeah, this, like, just... it's... Um, so Where's my lens? Also, Where's... also, you're here. Where's, I'm here, and I'm yeah. in, in the wide. Yep, in the wide. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. So, all right, cool. Yeah, those are cuts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Later, I'm gonna have to zoom in on James. Just I'm like, just making more work for Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand that quick motion is like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> click, 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 click. God damn click, it! Click, I gotta click, zoom, click. zoom, zoom, zoom. Cut. Cut. Fucking trim. I love editing, but editing sucks. I get it. It. Is, uh, I actually don't mind it. Too it's a. Much. It's a very. Like, it gets to a point. Like I've. I, like I've been editing videos and stuff for like a little over 10 years now like i just have work jobs where like i have to like i've worked in advertising and stuff and then sometimes i have to like cut my own like commercials and stuff together and so like but it eventually becomes a a like you get to a point where you can shut your brain off and just do it in my job right now i was like cutting together some ads that i made and uh like i sat at my desk from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and just didn't move and like just put on a podcast and just went. Mm. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> not <there> yet. <laughs> uh, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. There have been some all nighters. Like when I was doing Ronaldo's podcast, um, I was editing that for him and I was just figuring it out as I. Oh, went. that's the worst. And I mean, I would come in here, I would go out, I would do mics. They were putting them out on Thursday mornings, and I was like, okay, what do I, I'm just going to figure it out. And I would just sit in here all night and just click, 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 just, just trial and error, and then watching a YouTube video for 10 minutes and going back and trying <laughs> trial and error. Watching, dude, no, dude. I, there's so, so many YouTube videos I know. Of, of some it's always a Middle Eastern dude. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a that's lot of explaining that. premiere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah, back to like, octopus. I, I was just, I was just about to say before we got off on this. Another tangent yeah. is just that somebody recently was like, "I want to listen to your podcast. I like it. I like you, and there's funny bits, but it's so dirty, and I can't. Whoa. Yeah, and they were just like, "I can't listen. I can't listen." Who said that? <laughs> it's can't say it yeah there's right. people there's people i know oh that, like family like, family and like you know like friends of family and stuff like that and then like old teachers and stuff like people you you don't realize when you start a podcast everyone is originally gonna check it out and then uh, yeah. you're like uh i didn't think that but the people i know would see it you know I know, but like, like, at what point do you just say that, like, I, I, I got to make this the way I want it, and not like, yeah, the podcast that I've been on, like, I've posted about them, and then like, my mom has been like, listen to the podcast. My mom listened to the podcast that I was on where I dressed like a leprechaun <laughs> <laughs> for for An- for Andrew and Alex's titular. <laughs> I remember. And my mom was like, the fuck was that about? I'm like, mom, I'm an it's artist. Art, mom. I'm an artist. <laughs> I, like, like, 
I like I just can't I can't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna apologize for every fucking dumb thing that I do in front of a microphone anymore or camera or camera for that matter because like like because it's relatively the beginning of my career there's gonna it's gonna get so much worse <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because I, I I didn't say I'm an artist because but my my dad was talking to me about like he's like you're not dirty though like I've been to see you and you don't cuss on stage and stuff like that and it's true I try not to cuss on stage as much as possible but you, when you have three other dirt bags in a room with you and I, and I was like, like I was like trying to explain it to him and the only thing I could come up to to paint the picture for him was I was like dad. You, you paint with the colors you're given like that. And I just kept saying that to him, <laughs> which is just the same as I'm an artist. Like, you wouldn't get it. Yeah, like, you, don't, you don't understand show business. Like, and then it's like, it's not show business when it's just you and four friends <laughs> in this <a> room. <laughs> Like we just because like just because we go up and talk into a microphone for five minutes every night, we think that it's somehow different than just like bullshitting with your other buddies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I I did ask somebody this the other day, but uh, this could be a good one. Where do you think comedy ranks among like other hobbies? Because when you're like, starting off, when you're not professional yet, you're not getting paid full time to do it. It is it, kind it, of a it, hobby. It is. Like, like when I started, it wasn't like I wasn't planning to be anything. Mm -hmm. It was meant to be no shit. Like I kind of started to like fucking make friends. Yeah. Because I didn't know anyone here. And I, I got that part down. And it's a okay group. <laughs> 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 like, but that was a good pop. That was a good sound effect. Um, but like, yeah, you're right. It was just a hobby. I was just a fan of comedy mm -hmm. and it was just something that I would think that I might want to do. Yeah. And, and you're like, I think I could do that. Yeah. I I <laughs> when I was like about to graduate from college, like my last couple semesters, I just needed to fill credit hours. So I took up woodworking and then that stuck. And that's something I still do. You woodwork? I do. I do. Really? I don't, ha I don't have a, a shop anymore. Like I used to have a, a apartment that or a house that I rented, and then I had a, like a full shop in the basement, and then got divorced, and <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have that place anymore. But I still do what I can, and then like I like I you know I picked up skateboarding again at thirty. But doing stand up is like if you are just like doing it as a hobby, it's the I think it's one of the best ones to do. Oh, for sure. But I'm thinking, like, where does it rank? Where does like, it rank? Like, I was uh, leaving one night. I had to, I was walking through my living room out the front door, and my family was all gathered around, plus, like, my father in law. And I had to drive up here just to do the open mic, just to go to Funny Bone. Okay. And I was like, all right, bye, guys. I'm leaving. I got to go to do a mic. And they were like, oh, is it dad? Are you getting money this show? And I was like, nah, yeah. this was just practice. And then I went, like, I just paused at the door. And there was just this like heavy silence, you know, where my whole family was just like, where they just like didn't understand. <laughs> and I asked my wife, I was like, so as far as like nerdy hobbies go, <laughs> where is this compared to frisbee golf? <laughs> and she just like grimaced. She like she was like, oh, and she no. goes, that's a sport. Like that. Oh. I was like, <laughs> Shit, was, we're worse than frisbee golf. I, know, I, was like, oh. I was like, "What about magic?" She's like, "You're better than magic." Okay, you're better than right. magic. Because if so I was going like, to practice magic that. every week, like that would be <laughs> you yeah, no, so. uh, yeah, no, he uh, he leaves every week so he can do <laughs> pr practice magic. I thought you meant magic cards. <laughs> magic the Gathering. That Is might that that, that would be better. Yeah, that, 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 that might be better. Is it better than? No, no that's so funny better. i guess at first when i started i had to be like yeah i'm just gonna go do these mm. open mics but like i haven't really had to like be like yeah like i have to leave to go <laughs> it is fucking wild to think about like and i never thought about it that way i don't it's know like your bowling league you know it's like thursdays and tuesdays i mean it's just it's just kind of a part of 
it's just kind of a part of life now. Yeah, now yeah. it's just well, now it's just work. Like it, that's just, just it. Like it's work. It is when well, I when I get in the car. Uh, sometimes you know how your phone will pop up like such and such a time to whatever your routine is. Mm. Sometimes like that. When I get in my car, it tells me an hour and forty five minutes to work, and it takes me here because oh. it now like. And I, li- I kind of like that. Like, I like that it's like, oh, this is my job now. Like, yeah. Like, I, even though I'm not making any money, <laughs> I am doing this. It is a job. Like, tonight, like, but, but talking, what, what you were saying, sorry to cut you off, but like, if what you were talking about, how like you just have to go and like you do hobbies, so stupid, but like, I had plans with my mother to go out to dinner and then like 24 hours ago, Ben Johnson sent me a message. was like, can you do a show tomorrow? And I was like, I'm there. What do you need? <laughs> we canceled dinner and, plans. I go to the heavy anchor. <sighs> no crowd. Canceled show. But we waited an hour to call it because we were like, and by that time I was like, ah, you waited ah. an hour. <laughs> yeah. Damn. But see, that's where I disagree with your wife because, right, you're not going to do that for frisbee golf. <laughs> that's a great point. We gotta, sorry, we got to cancel frisbee dinner. Golf. Yeah, <laughs> a, a, a game came up. And then... <laughs> it's changed in my life to where like. I do want to do something with comedy. I feel like it's moved from hobby to work, kind yeah. of, like you yeah. said. Even though, like, <laughs> I don't make anything doing it. <laughs> like, I got fucking... I, I, went, I went to Columbia, Missouri two weeks ago, and I was psyched to make 50 bucks. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, I, but also those things are, like, still happy to do that. Yeah. Isn't that wild? It is. There is one time where I went to a show and I was supposed to get paid like, I don't know, 50 bucks or something like that for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I did seven minutes just not crowd work, but just like about other (coughs) people. Other people just just kind of riffing and then like things in the room and like having fun. And it was one of my favorite sets of all time. And after the show was over, I got fifteen dollars, <laughs> and I was still just like, I was like, it's all right. I think I got a couple new bits. Out of that. Like, I was like, it was like, kind of worth it. it, it you know? like, like, it, like the the money, like like the fact that you had fun doing it, yeah. and you maybe got some new material, like that surpassed like the 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 physical payment there was like more of a payment from like doing like it's this weird thing for like we're at the beginning of our careers and we're like technically performing like being artists doing a job Mm -hmm. but we're all totally fine not getting paid dick to do it i mean we would like yeah sure if somebody was like like, what other like this i'd be like okay (laughs) That's, a th- that's another thing. All all the other hobbies you do privately most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I bet, yeah, you weren't you weren't doing a lot of woodworking at Westport. No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> hold on. I got this. I got this tight new bowl. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I got this mid-century modern piece that I'm wearing, <laughs> that I'm really trying to tighten up right now. <laughs> Somebody recently pointed out, like, how come you've never had any women on your podcast before? <laughs> who, uh, who, who said I have. Who? Uh, I have had my mother on. <laughs> I've had my wife on. I've had my wife's best friend on at the same time as my wife. One of my first ever podcasts was just three women. And me. One of them I didn't know, but they met her at a concert and just brought her to record a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, and they all that, got that, so drunk. Is that, that we an had... episode that I can go back and listen no, to? No, I wish. And my, Do you they didn't really... may delete it. Oh, because it was pretty. Damn it. I mean, at one point, at one point, they were just sitting there and they were really like. <laughs> <laughs> they were just doing like that to the microphone. I can like, hear Don't myself. do that. This is crazy. They're like, I, I can, can keep. I, every time I do something, I can hear it. And I'm like, and so can everyone else. You've got to stop it. But uh, the, other, the other reason I haven't invited any comics on here is because I basically have asked my friends. To come on and get drunk and let me film them <laughs> while it, I try to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I if, when right. I get it down, when it's professional, hey, then I will invite other 
I will invite some females on, but I don't think that a woman would feel comfortable be like, hey, you want to come back to my place? I got a a studio close by. Do you want to come back to this uh, room? Yeah. I made it look like the woods because I didn't think you'd follow me out there. (laughs) At fucking 11 o'clock on a Thursday. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't know how to approach it. So, yes, I will get some very diverse guests on in the future. Please don't think that I'm sexist. I just, I don't know y'all like that. Yeah. You know, like. Have you, have you thought of it like, uh, like, because you got a, you got a, you got a one other show recording out of here at the moment. Yeah. Possibly two. Hopefully, at some point. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. As as Andrew calls it, ass digital. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is funny. Is, <laughs> that is it funny. Is funny. It ass is. digital is funny. <laughs> it is very funny. <laughs> like, the first time, like, I heard someone say, I'm like, oh, shit. That's yeah. Funny. And you know what? It rightfully deserved. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that big of a narcissist. Some mistakes have been made. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we're learning. All yeah, right? no, that's that's all this is about. Hey, but you, that's the thing. You're doing it though. Like yeah. Yeah. you have you have this. It's cool as shit. Like I don't give a fuck what anyone says. It's cool as shit. Yeah, I get it. It's janky, but we're but we're, we're, we're like downtown ballpark village. Yeah. That's folks. You can't see that it's off camera. <laughs> it's, you can't see, but in the it's woods. a glass sliding door to get in this motherfucker. You know how fucking fancy that is. Uh, well, I mean, it's like it's like it's like a summer home in Hilton Head. I will say, like, it is not a deal for a recording <laughs> studio. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> a, a, not a, soundproof at all. A, like a, the a, acoustics are horrible. No, <laughs> this is why we record at night because during the day, these offices all around us are filled with people mm. doing actual <laughs> work, <laughs> Man, and they're yeah. like. They're like, Johnson, did you make that deal? I didn't get the email. Like, they're just yelling back and forth at each other. And I'm sitting there trying to edit. Like, <laughs> But the, I hear the open mic scene in St. Louis is fine. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's two Sasquatches getting fucked up at <laughs> two, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> that would be fun to be doing it in the You know, I would, I would actually love to do it like, like noon. Walk out there yeah, and just yeah, well. be using the keg out there and just be walking out getting hammered. Like everybody else, I, is I think I think we years. should, I think we should do it one time, like during the day, and just see what. <laughs> it's hard. Happens. It's hard because Ren, Renato used to come in here and record at like, uh, like four thirty till like they get here at like four thirty five ish, four thirty to six, or like you know, and then we'd leave and go to Funny Bone, and there were still people, and so sometimes they'd be in here just screaming. <laughs> and like watching videos of like two handicapped people fighting, you know, <laughs> just screaming. <laughs> and you hear people like ants walking down the hall. We had people that would like peek up over the glass, like, what are they doing in there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like they would like peek their head up. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. That's why I kind of put that's why that tarp is kind of blocking the view now. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I keep calling it a tart. My wife keeps yelling at me. She's like, they're tapestries. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like they're... They're blankets at best. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> they're, they're, they're towels. Like, I, like, like, I, I do like how like the three of these are the same. And like, oh, that that's a little farther, like... like West, you know, <laughs> West. <laughs> I like. I don't think anybody's ever tried to place them geographically, but I did that because I like the blue, mm-hmm. and I was like, originally I wanted to put it behind me, but then I was like, no, I want to look at it. So, have I, you thought about like doing just like green screen sheets and then like just putting whatever behind it? See, I thought about so that wall. I kind of thought about put making a green screen. I could do like some extra stuff and then i yeah. bought i bought some microphones recently that clip on they're like little they bought them for stage but mm-hmm. then i realized that they connect to your phone oh and yeah they're perfect for i was gonna go Just out like a during little, a like, cardinals like, oh, game, mic. Yeah. and i was gonna do like street interview things mm-hmm. like ask people 
best questions out on the street oh, and just okay. like record them. <clears throat> I want to try. I don't know. I'm trying. Kind of you're I'm here. you're like figuring it. Like you said, you're figuring it out, man. Figuring it out. Figuring it out. Yeah. Like that's what uh, I I, I want to do a podcast, but I I. I <laughs> I wanted to have a direction from the beginning, <laughs> so yeah. I'm, I'm just not jumping straight into it. Uh, I definitely came up with that idea first before I oh, you did? missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I mean, it's changed several times, and it'll keep changing. Mm-hmm. But the central idea of having like a <clears throat> a show where like I ask people questions, and then we kind of like have a go back and forth or yeah. whatever. That was the goal. But okay, I mean. Oh, ooh, ooh. here's another one that somebody sent in. Shout out to Jeremy Connor. Thank you for sending in Jeremy, your question. What's up, man? Shout out. Yeah, we both know. Rick and I both know Jeremy. He's a cool I don't know dude. Him. Sounds he's cool. A, he's a guy in uh, Cape Girardeau, and he does open mics. He's been doing them for like a couple years. Uh, and he's a funny guy. He's a cool dude. Good hang. Jeremy? You know what? I may have met him. That's, I, that's I the best compliment person. that I can give somebody <laughs> is if you're a good hang, it means you're a good dude. That's 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 all you want. That means a lot. I wanted than... to actually. I originally wanted to call this podcast the Hang, but it's taken. So mm. I was like, well, all right. I mean, on, like honestly, like that means a lot Th- to me. That means just about the same as being funny. Sometimes, yeah, because yeah. there are people that are very very funny. But, but like they just hang. suck to hang out oh, with. Oh yeah, dude. And like it's just heavy. Yeah. Like, but like if you're like even like if you know like your new comic or but you're fun to hang out with, like it's I don't I'm just more like inclined to like be around that person. Yeah, I that's what I feel like. I just like I oh, I like this guy. So like if I'm not <clears throat> if I'm not on stage at an open mic, like at the funny bone. I want to go hang out mm-hmm. where the comedians are. Yes, because, absolutely. Like you just like I I don't know like you 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 book shows through your friends. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> the, no clubs are calling me right now except for <laughs> you know occasionally the Westport will be like, hey, can you work in twenty minutes? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah <laughs> yes, I'll, be, I'll be there. Yes, <laughs> I, uh, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Get out of my way. I've got a host. My grandma's doing chemo right now, but yes, I'll be there. <laughs> like, <laughs> Get out of my way, you're honking. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got to, I've got to sell lemon drop shots. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, what was the question (laughs) yeah Yeah, shout out jeremy good hang Uh, (laughs) yeah well what's the best length of time for a haircut oh well you're asking the wrong dude right now (laughs) i know but like that's just it best length of time for a haircut yeah because all right so i've Um, had i've had haircuts that that lasted like 30 seconds i'm not kidding when I was well, in the military, like there was this guy named Bud. He was out in town. He'd give you just you'd ask for number one, number two, or number three, and he would give you that style, whatever you pick. Yeah, and he'd been doing it for forty five years. He'd been doing it since we won World War Two. Like I think he came. <laughs> I think he came if it ain't back. broke, don't fix it, <laughs> <Yeah>. dude. <laughs> he, he got off the boat from Iwo Jima and just went to a barber shop and just started going and it hasn't stopped. <laughs> but he would be like, "I'm, I'm serious." You would watch the second hand on the clock start to turn, and yeah, thirty to forty five seconds. He'd be like, "All right, you're good," and I enjoyed it. But there's times where, like, if somebody else tried to pull that off, I'd be like, "No." Oh, and man. there's been other barber shops I've gone to mm-hmm. where your appointment's at 1030. You're not in the chair till 11. And then you're out of there at like 1230. And I'm like, all right. This yeah. Is- fuck yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. You, you like, because I, 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 I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was saying you're getting paid while you were getting your hair cut there for 45 seconds. So, of course, it doesn't fucking matter, you know. But mm. the one. I like, of course, I, I wish it. If it's going to take longer and you're getting paid, it's better. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, I want you to do a good job, but I also don't want you to take up my day. Nobody's looking right. at you either, so you don't give a shit. You probably didn't even have a fucking mirror in there. 
No, no, just, well, he did, but it was behind him, and he wouldn't even turn you around. He would like set you down, and you'd be facing away from the mirror. So like the mirror would be behind. Wouldn't me, say a fucking just, word to you either. He'd be like, "What do you want?" And you'd be like, "Number two. And he'd just, all right. When you sit down, and then <laughs> suck it up real quick, and be like, "All right." Oh, you would dude. go to the checkout lady, and she was just quick. You know, I I do I do I do miss that fucking vacuum on the back of your head though. Oh, oh it's such a great feeling. Oh, that's a okay. So best haircut I ever got, Bahrain. There's this little shop. So as soon as you get off the ship, so our ship would pull into the port, you would immediately go off and go straight into this giant, uh, like American mall. But all it had in it was a barber shop. A place to buy new uniforms <laughs> and then like a supplement store. Like a GNC. A GNC. <laughs> oh, there was also like a uh, there was like, also like a Hastings like okay. kind of thing where that's it was, so funny. Like, like just uh, DVDs and like computer parts and like little flash drives yeah. for you to download movies on and stuff like that. But that's that was so one of the four things that you could do. Then like right next door there was a Pizza Hut and that was like that was the big like we're on vacation I'm gonna get breadsticks and a haircut like, like <laughs> how pumped were you to get Pizza Hut though Oh so <laughs> dude <laughs> remind me to tell you about this. <laughs> uh, best haircut I ever got though you sit down they gave me a haircut then they 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 put like rubbing alcohol on like on your neck and stuff. They wrap you in a hot towel. Mm -hmm. And then he would do this thing where he would take his hands like this and like, like on your spine. And they give you like a a little massage. massage. And then he would crack your neck and then like slap you with the rubbing alcohol. And it would be all tingly like he, but they do it so fast. You'd be like, what just happened? And then they'd be like, all right, you're done. And you're like. I feel amazing. They would hit that Kill Bill finishing move on you. (laughs) (laughs) You get up, take three steps, and then die. (laughs) Your heart explodes. I well, I haven't. uh, I haven't had a haircut haircut since uh, like January 2020. Now, nice. Yeah, it just started out as like the growing my hair out started out as just a quarantine thing, and then it just kept going and going, and now like. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know like, if I, I, would t- know I who take you are. I take good care of my hair. Like I take better care of my hair now because it's longer, but I do miss a haircut sometimes. Like cuz like I did, I was going to places I was doing the hot towel. Mm. Oh, fucking A is it nice. It's like it, it's just like a little treat. The the barbershop that I grew up going to with my dad, it, like okay. me, yep. like me, my dad, and my brother, like we would all go at the same time. Oh, every I, three months. Every three. Every three well, months. Well, no, no, no. It, it had to have been. It had to. Be, no, that's not right. It had to have been every month and a half, maybe two months at the latest, because my my dad's a military military guy too. Oh, is he really? Yeah, he was army. Okay, cool. And so he like he has kept his hair high and tight since. I'm having such a hard time not getting that haircut. Really? Yeah. Like I just recently I, I was complaining about how bald I was and my wife's like, Well, you cut your hair really short. It shows. Like yeah. it's thinning. And I was like, Well, what do you mean I cut it really short? And she's like, You always get it cut short. You if you grew it out, mm-hmm. it wouldn't it wouldn't look as short. You could just comb it and you would be able to cover it up. And I was like and like it just never occurred to me. You would that, look like, fucking wild with long hair. The, the first time I got when I got out of the military, the first haircut I went into, I went into a Great Clips and I sat down and they were like, "What do you want?" And I was like, I, "I'd make it look not bad. I don't know. Like I, you, I like you, you just like you just didn't know like how to style it. Like no, you, I like just I was like, oh, "This is what I've been getting the last six years. I guess I'll just keep going." Honestly, you know? like the going like long hair has been one of the best hair decisions I've ever made in my life because I did not know how to style my hair at all. Like I made I made a lot of bad hair just de- like I made a lot of bad facial hair decisions. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Oh dude, I have prom pictures where it's just all chin strap. Oh dude, I rocked it. I have prom chin strap pictures. Yes. Yes. I would love to see that. Uh, anytime you want to bring I, them up. Yeah. Dude, I, I definitely have a prom picture where I am rocking a pencil thin chin strap and like just like a spiky faux hawk. 
<laughs> Are we twins? Are we twins? <laughs> so that's why, like, I, I think, I honestly think, like, I did start the long hair thing until way older, but like, I, I enjoy it. it seems like everyone else doesn't hate it. So, like, I, I, I'm gonna keep it going for a little bit longer. I went you know? the opposite route. I you went the opposite route. Just chopped mine all off because I was, you know, balding. So how 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 long was yours? Oh no, I, I've never really had long hair. But actually, the longest I had, which was my worst hair decision that I can see p- photographs of, was when I was in middle school. I had the skater cut where I just had the part down the middle. Oh long shit! Hair, and it was buzzed on the sides, so like I just combed it down, and so oh. it would like hang to like my eyes, but it was buzzed underneath, and it was yeah. I it definitely was, like, a lot of gel and parted down the middle. I was. I definitely there was a period of time where like I definitely had like the front of my, like my hair was like long i had emo bangs where it was like swooping across this way but the rest uh, of my hair was short uh, the just... old alex hayes huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah a little bit shout out alex <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i've i uh, i've i've had a lot of bad haircuts beard styles like i i've been able to grow a beard since i think i was like pretty Probably like late sophomore year of high school when I was able to start growing a beard, but like I just made horrible decisions. With it. Oh, yeah. I, I do. There was a like I went straight soul patch for a minute. That was a bad call. I just went full like hard goatee for oh, most of high school, fuck. and it got thick and long. And and when I would shave. I would only like look straight in the mirror. I <laughs> never once. I, <laughs> I never one time did this. <laughs> so without realizing it. <laughs> oh shit! I bet. <laughs> without realizing it, I just thought it was getting long. Turns out it was. You just go. You just grow like, down your neck. So I had, a, I had a landing strip going across my throat. It was like I was like my esophagus decided to grow a. A goat, like a mohawk. (laughs) Oh, dude, it was that's such. I look back on it, and I I, because I remember the day, like I was just like really sad, and my mom was like, "What's going on?" And I was like, "Girls just don't like me. I don't understand." She was like, "Buddy, (laughs) I don't know what you're doing there." And she like took me in the. She like I was standing in the mirror, and she was. I was like, "What?" And she goes. And she like showed me from the side, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> you just immediately was like, ah. "Well, your chin and belly button are connected, <laughs> <laughs> dude." And I also, I don't. The reason I grew the the goatee is because I don't have a jawline. I don't have a good jaw. I don't at either. All. I could never be Batman. And like I like I the, my I, upper. I used to joke that my upper lip or my bottom lip connects. To my nipples. <laughs> like, it's just a long, straight... Like, if I shave my... Because, like, you think my chin's, like, right here? This is where my chin is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, my jaw, my jawline looks like the bottom of your thumb. I do. Like, <laughs> like, that's what it looks like. Yeah, no, thank... Thank Christ I can grow facial hair. <laughs> I look fucking wild without it. Like, it's not good. Mm. I look gross so like, every time i've ever shaved it off so in the seven ish years i've been out of the military every time i've shaved it off i've been like nope that's exactly why i grew this i, forgot. <laughs> I knew like once i had facial hair like even even pencil thin chin strap days i'm like oh this is better than what it was i literally the last time that i fully shaved was for a musical my senior year in high school. <laughs> Shout out Grease. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I dyed my hair black and shaved my beard. It was wild. Looking. I would love to see I could pull a James the, I, I could, Voucher, Danny Zuko. Oh uh, no, I was I was Sonny Latieri. I was one of the I was one of the I was one of the greasers, but not Danny. You were a T-bird? I was a T-bird. Oh, yeah. You better have been. <laughs> of, of course. <laughs> what if you were one of the lackeys for the other gang? Like, you were, like, not even... I don't even know what the other gang was There called. wasn't enough kids in my school to fill those roles. <laughs> <laughs> but, how, yeah. Wait, how did you guys get away with doing Grease? Like, that's not a... 
Like, oh, when I like, think back about it, like, it was, isn't it all about having sex and Greece. somebody's getting? Do you know, like, the like? I mean, it's nineteen fifties. The the main the the mains like song "Summer Lovin'." Yeah, like I like I didn't think about how fucked up that song was until a couple years ago. Yeah, like it, like it's basically talking about like how you like took advantage of this girl in like summer camp. Yeah. <laughs> like it's fucked. Yeah. And like my character, oh yeah, as Sunny says, blah 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 blah. Did she put up a fight? <laughs> and I'm like, I said that like in front of a crowd of people. I sang that. In I sang that to my family. They were- and I'm like. Holy shit! Like, like, I did not think about how fucked up that was until later. Like, is Greece just Euphoria from the fifties? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Like, really, they've just been churning out the same thing, but, and they're like, "What do we do? I don't know. Let's get them naked this time. I, I whatever." Were you, uh, Were you ever like a theater kid? No. No, you aren't. I the the so my biggest uh, my biggest. I guess claim to fame in the the high school theater world was it wasn't even high school it was junior high. Uh, we did Annie and the big ending finale, the Christmas tree in Daddy Warbucks's house is supposed to be huge. Mm-hmm. So what for whatever reason the stand broke. So I sat on a chair behind the tree and just held it <laughs> for the entire second act, and I just stood there. <laughs> And as soon as it was over, he was like, the 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 choir director. I, I had to, I just sat there and held the tree, and I found out that I could like lean back, and then it was actually kind of comfortable. <laughs> and I think I fell asleep. For a little bit. <laughs> but then afterwards, it was over. He was like, "Let's get him out of there," and they had to like bring people over. They acted like it was a huge deal. Like I was trapped by Get him out of there. I was like, no, dude, I did this so I didn't have to dance and sing. Like <laughs> I got an A in the class because I did this for two hours. Like I was I got into theater definitely because I thought it was gonna like gonna make me look cool <laughs> for like like it but like in front of like band chicks and theater chicks. Hey. It didn't it it didn't. <laughs> it, it just turned out I was like solid at it. Like, <laughs> like I was not like I wasn't good at singing. I was a horrible singer. Uh, but like I got like I did get like the funny roles, musicals, and like uh, plays and shit because like the timing of the jokes were like written into the scripts, and like I was like one of the only people that could figure out how to like actually deliver them. So I, I think that's, that's like I think that's like where like maybe a lot of this started. It sparked. It sparked. Yeah. 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 I like that. It's an origin story of Mr. Yeah, Bass. a little bit. That's cool. Uh I did have a, I had a teacher uh, I did one semester of drama uh, like my senior year and I was just like I because uh, at that point you're just filling out classes to try to fill. Like, you're just like Wait, was this in high school, college? Yeah, high school. High my, school. So my senior. Yeah, no, I didn't go to college. There was, <laughs> there was no college. Uh, no, in high school, and I just took it like the second half of my senior year, and I wasn't there half the time because I was just like I, I got enough credit. No one's I'm there. Just, like I'm just not gonna show up. Like whatever. You had to act out a scene. There was like four mm. scenes you could pick from. You had to act it out. You weren't allowed to talk. You weren't allowed to do like anything but just move around and use your body language. And there was a scene about a guy who woke up and he's in prison. And he's just kind of like looking around and like figuring out what happened. And I went up and I did it. And I remember picking that one because I'm like. I feel like I'm in prison right now. Like, that like, <laughs> dude, dude, that, got, that's the most emo thing. Like I'm, I'm in fucking prison right now. You had to do it. You had to do it for three and a half minutes, which if you've never been on a stage before and not talking three and a half minutes is so it's long. Da- like I remember like communications classes where you had to like, do some type of presentation or a speech and you had to do it for like three minutes or five minutes. Mm-hmm. That seemed like forever. And now we're like dying to do that now. <laughs> like, when yeah, oh, when I was in when I was in the military, my last job I had before I got out, I was a marksmanship instructor, and then you had to go through a, a big long uh, class that was I think it was like a couple months long, uh, but you had to give you had to give like it was like a legitimate 
um, like classroom setting. You had to sit down and then you would have to give, you had to learn so much information and then you had to teach it to the instructors to show that you know how to pass this information on. So it was oh. kind of like teaching you how to like give a class how to be professional, teaching you how to like, teach, like, but also with the weirdest military twist of all time, like on top of it. So it was super strict, but also you had to make it fun. And so then that's what I ended up doing. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing the last 10 months I was in the Marines. I would teach classes to kids in boot camp on how to shoot, and I would have them for eight hours a day. And so I was just standing on this like wooden stage, oh. just talking to like. Be like, all right, so this is part of the rifle, and then like I had to make it fun for him. And the only is that thing- your origin story a little bit? A little bit, yeah, a little, yeah. Bit, a little bit. And 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 I found it well, <clears throat> and I got pretty good at it. Like I got good. Like I found what I was like. These are all 18, 19 year old kids who joined the military. They love guns and boobs, <laughs> you know. Like, and I just would relate everything, and then like throw innuendos in there because you're not allowed to. So there's the weirdest rules Can ever you not in the military. Cuss? No. So officially, you're not allowed to cuss in front of a recruit in boot camp. But everyone knows. Like you could ask anyone, be like, what do you know about the Marines? They'll be like, they cuss like all the time. They're just that's just what they yeah. do. Yeah. Like <laughs> and I feel like that's just the military in general. Yeah. Like, but but for whatever reason, if there's an officer walking around, you have to be like you have to mind your P's and Q's. Okay. You know what I mean? But as soon as they leave, you're just like, all right, so what you're going to do is you're going to slap that bitch. And like, you, know, like, you just relate it to things and stuff. Yeah. Now, I, now I don't even remember why. I, was I, so, I don't know. Where before I forget, before I forget, <laughs> you talked about Pizza Hut. Uh, we were talking about Pizza Hut in a different country. Or oh, yeah. Like you got. <laughs> so we go to a Pizza Hut in this mall in Malaysia. And I'm with my buddies Trevor and Brandon, and uh, I use their first names because nobody ever uses first names in the military. So I feel like it's better protection of their identity, <laughs> right? Uh, and we go and we sit down in this Pizza Hut and we order. And Trevor wants ranch to dip his pizza in. And apparently, ranch has not made it to the Pacific. You know, not even in Pizza Hut. Yeah, yeah, no, not even in Pizza Hut in Malaysia. But for whatever reason, his act out for ranch was to take his hand like this and just be like, I want ranch. I want ranch. I want, I I want, want ranch. I want the cup. Ranch. I, I want, want the, the cup. Cup, cup, of, in right, in cup the- of ranch. And he's just poking a whole, like, and I was oh, like, no. I mean, the lady was just like, I, 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 uh, th- th- sir, this is Pizza Hut. <laughs> no, but she's Malaysian. She doesn't speak English, so she has no idea what he's doing. He's just doing this symbol to her. And like the manager came out and started yelling at us, and he was like, "No ranch!" Right? And he starts doing it to the guy, and the guy's like, Wah! "Like getting it." Dude, he was thinking he was trying to fuck the waitress. <laughs> like, really? yeah. They thought that he was like trying to find prostitutes or whatever, and he's like, Yo. "He's like, I just want ranch." I'm like, dude, I just want ranch. It's. <laughs> and I just loved it because he's he's a kid. He's he's from Peoria, and he's yeah. like, like, you know, like I of just, course I just want the fucking ranch. And he's like, I dude. just want to dip this pizza. And ran I have a, and everyone's screaming at me. And I was like, I, I maybe stop doing this. I like, haven't had ranch in eight months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just want some goddamn ranch. <laughs> that's what people from the Midwest that withdrawal from <laughs> on deployment. They're like, Mom, could you say ranch? And she's like, No, it has to be refrigerated. It would never make it. You're it like, never, <laughs> put, some, like, put some ice packs in there. Goddamn, just get I need just need a bottle of Hidden Valley. <laughs> Shout out to Taco Bell though, because if you send we we wrote Taco Bell a letter, and they're like, hey, we like, well, we really love your stuff. If you want to send us free things, we're deployed. It would be a good marketing, whatever. Really? Yeah, you do that for everything. They used to do it with cigarettes, but then no, they, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, would take full cartons, of cartons. All of my buddies that went like, uh, I had a couple guys tell me that when they were in Afghanistan, they wrote marble of mess like a letter or they took a picture and they're like they're like hurry we're running out of cigarettes and they were just come back and they're all dirty and stuff like that and they said that marvel shipped them out like fuck and, like, yeah like, boxes and boxes. that is awesome and like all kinds of stuff so we wrote taco bell and they're like we can't send you any food it wouldn't be good by the time he got there but they just sent 
sauce, like giant things of sauce, which Yo. is you have no idea how much of a gift that is because the food sucks so <laughs> bad. And you're like just in like, the, like oh, holding fire sauce in your hands and you're just like packets of fire sauce and like you're just like, oh my god, this is gonna change the flavor of everything so much. You guys have no idea what I'm about to be. <laughs> I'm about to be Gordon Ramsay in here. <laughs> Sitting there with your your MRE like pouring <laughs> <laughs> the, my favorite, my favorite MRE ever was you could get Italian meatballs and marinara. Mm-hmm. Now the meatballs were about this big, right? <laughs> like and Chef Boyardee yeah, meatballs. Yeah, and you were like, I'm not even going to ask what part of the animal, whatever it animal it I is. I don't care. But it had like a decent number amount of sauce. But then it would also come with uh, hot and spicy Cheez Its. Well, it was baked snack crackers because they couldn't call them Cheez Its. Yeah. So what you do is you'd heat them, you heat up the cheese, you would heat up the the meatball marinara, right? You crush up the Cheez Its, you pour the cheese and the Cheez Its in there, stir it up. You trade somebody, you find somebody who's got a, like a pizza flavored MRE, and you get their extra seasoning because there's like way too much seasoning. Yeah. In it. And you just like whoa. you dump that in there, so you, it's like got a little like zesty garlic taste to it and then oh, if anybody had tabasco because they used to come with these little tiny bottles of tabasco yeah and then i guess they lost the contract and they stopped putting tabasco in it and i mean i was about to join isis like i was like <laughs> i was like i'm not i'm not doing this anymore until i get some tabasco <laughs> like, uh, i need some yeah, I need I need a little bottle of tabasco <laughs> yeah i just thought of the best fuck i love watching cooking shows Oh yeah, I do. I that's another hobby I have. I love cooking. I like like, res looking up recipes, finding new stuff. A fucking cooking show between military guys and prison guys. Oh, how fucking rad would that, that be? That would be so good, dude. Oh, that would be so much. Like fun. like they have like their normal things that they have, and they have to find like they got they got to make like. Uh, <laughs> they gotta oh, they gotta make a catchy Pepe like out of ramen <laughs> and like like spam. <laughs> I got I could just I'm picturing you dressed up in like a fine suit and you're standing. There's a couple with a there's a tablecloth and light you know candles whatever and you're standing in front of them and be like, well to our tonight special. Is a cheese and veggie omelet MRE <laughs> with a uh, toilet made Pinot uh, <laughs> paired nicely with a. <laughs> and for dessert, uh, we have. It's a it's a uh, flaming hot Oreo cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> flaming hot Oreo cheesecake. With a lemon poppy uh, pound seed MRE. <laughs> Dude, I would watch the fuck out I of that. I would watch show. that so much. Because the be way like, you explain like you like you had like people in prison, like they like they gotta do weird shit. Oh, yeah. There's so much similarities between prison and the military. <laughs> it's I Man. swear to you, the only difference is one looks better on a job application. <laughs> like, I have so much. There's so many times that I talk to someone who is in the pri- in prison. And I'm like, are you sure you weren't in the military, man? This seems really, I mean, not to get too personal, but uh, <laughs> someone I know very well and uh, lo- love very much uh, dated someone in prison <laughs> and then dated me while I was in the military. <laughs> and, and they have pointed out very a lot of similarities. Like, this is exactly like what I had to do. Except uh, one's a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, paid yeah. for mine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, who's the best Batman? Best Batman. My Batman. All right. I want to say my Batman is Keaton, but it's not. It's okay. not. When, like, I was, like, growing up, I swear to God, I watched the Batman versus Robin movie more than any of them. That's the Clooney Batman. Yeah. I watched the fuck out of that movie. And by the way, that movie wasn't bad when I was a kid. No. You know what I mean? Like, there's all those, like, there's these movies that were, like, bad. But when you're fucking a child 
They're not. You know, like the Clooney Batman. I fucking love that movie. So, hot, <laughs> hot take. You ready for this? <clears throat> Clooney was the best Bruce Wayne. I, you, yes, I would uh, totally agree with that. If there's anyone that can embody, like, the, the, the fucking, now we're dipping into now, the territory <laughs> of uh, what. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Let's get in the weeds. Let's pick it uh, up. Dude, you, I'll talk Batman with you all. Dude, but. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I'm going to say another hot take. I'm not a Michael Keaton fan. I uh, I do. I love Michael Keaton. I, I, I like him as an actor. Mm. I do love his Batman, too. I do. I like him as an actor. He's a great actor, and he's been in some movies that I absolutely love. Multiplicity is one of my favorite <laughs> rom-coms of all That's time. That's a pretty funny movie. Yeah, dude, yeah. That, movie, that movie slaps, mm -hmm. you know? But... I, my problem with him as Batman is that when he's Bruce Wayne, I was looking at him. I'm like, he's not an attractive guy. Like he's no. kind of weird, you know. No. And all I mean, I'm sure that's a weird thing to point out why you don't like the Batman. <laughs> but it's like if I want, I want to be Batman. I've grown up my entire life imagining myself as Batman. And I looked at Michael Keaton and I'm like, you're a dork. Like, I'm cooler than you. You know, like, I can't be cooler than Bruce Wayne. You, you want to get nuts? Yeah. yeah. You want to get nuts? Like, even when he did that, I was like, that's weird, dude. But, like, if I was the Joker, I would have just shot him. <laughs> like, all right. Which but, I think he did, actually. I mean, have you, like, have you seen any of, like, the flat, the trailers for the Flash movie? I have seen you, it. You, dude, the, like, he, you, I saw him in that first trailer and I was like, I got so excited to see Keaton as Batman again. My biggest flaw with Keaton's Batman is that besides the fact that he's not handsome, and <laughs> the fact that, but the first time you see him on screen in the very first Batman movie, a, just a regular old robber, just a thug, <laughs> just shoots him twice in the chest and it, it like kicks him off of his feet. He just flies back and lays on the ground. And I was like, that's the first thing you see is Batman just getting decked. Like, that's not cool. It would have been cool if he was like, pew, pew, you know, and like yeah. collected them or like dodged them or, or like, you know, like. Did are we going to cool. blame Keaton here or are we going to blame Tim Burton? We'll here. blame Tim Burton. But it's like you. The, Shout out Tim Burton. You want it to be a hero movie. And the very first time you see the hero he gets knocked on his yeah. ass. Yeah. Like, that was the beginning. That was basically the beginning of Batman being a dark character. They had to battle through fucking 20 years of him being a fucking campy dork. Everyone knows Batman as a dark character. And that's a lot of that is because Tim Burton. Because it just kind of escalated from there. Yeah. I, okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But... I don't know. I, best Batman. I was but, saying for a long time, Kevin Conroy. I think that Kevin. Con oh yeah. He, well, I mean, the voice. He, he is, is the voice of Batman. When I think Batman, I hear that voice. When I when I would read the comics as a kid, mm -hmm. I would read. I would hear that voice. Yes. And the, in like the 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 Batman animated movies. Are incredible. Oh, so much. So They're good. so good. And uh, Mark Hamill's Joker, that yeah. was a part of those. Mask like, of the Phantasm? What? Yeah, dude. What do you know uh, about Mask? What do you know about Mask, viewers? <laughs> <laughs> you just get angry? You don't know nothing about Sub-Zero. What? <laughs> What's up? We we went from like military to talking about Batman like oh, yeah. so fast, yeah, and I feel yeah, like Batman. this is the easiest conversation that I've had since we started this. Well, no, I mean, you would be you would be surprised at how quickly conversation of the military will go from like talking about <laughs> rifles to being like which Pokemon? Is showing? Yeah. You know, like, like it's either Clooney or Val Kilmer for me. I would say Val Kilmer was pretty good. Val Kilmer was. A, he wasn't uh, Val Kilmer. He he didn't like. I swear to God, he had like four lines in the entire movie. Oh yeah, but like it was just him standing in like the superhero yeah. pose for yeah but, every scene. He was just standing. But like, like we, we we had Jim Carrey and uh, who else was in that movie? Um, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. That's right. Arnold Schwarzenegger. The human. Ar Ar <laughs> no, that was uh. That no, that that was, was Clooney. That was Clooney. That was Clooney. Yeah. 
Tommy Lee Jones, the human basset hound. <laughs> shout, shout out to him. He it. is a human basset hound. Yeah, Holy I shit. Really, I really hope that, that, that this, that what if that was the one clip that goes viral? <laughs> it's just from, uh, from it's, Hey, goddammit. <laughs> he calls me, he gives me a cease and desist. <laughs> just, that would immediately become my merch. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a picture of, of a basset hound dressed up in like a, a, a basset hound two face. <laughs> 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 a basset hound is a Texas sheriff. Like, <laughs> uh, what's the best beer? Best beer? I I got to go. I got to go with what I'm drinking. I I love Ooh. just Bush, not Bush Light. No, not Bush Do Light. Do they taste the same? Yes. But I <laughs> How do you feel about Bush Latte? Comic. Is that actually a thing? I just it thought, is. I, I thought it was it, a it, well, it's uh, I forget his name. It's, it's just a bush light, but they, yeah, they just, but it was coined by uh, a. I don't know if he's like a comic, but he like makes like videos like uh, like uh, in his like whole thing is based around being like a Midwest guy, like a Minnesota guy, and like his whole thing is that he drinks bush light, and so like he coined the term bush latte. And then, like, Bush caught on. He, he, ah, fuck. Oh, it's called You Betcha. Yeah, You Betcha. They're, they're funny videos. Check them out. All right. I'm not going to hate on him. I'm just All right. Like, I'm not going to no, hate I, on do, him. Bush, I'm just sitting it's here solid like... beer. Oh, it, is it trash? <laughs> hey. It is. It's garbage. It's it's a garbage beer, <laughs> but it's my favorite. It's Old Faithful. How much money do you think he made by... Getting uh, selling the ad campaign, Bush Latte, uh, a bunch well, because uh, hey, uh, Spirite, 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 Spirita, whatever, <laughs> fucking hit me up. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I got some bills to pay. <laughs> what uh, What's your favorite beer? Well, it's well, I found out recently that I guess I'm allergic to beer because I drank a lot of it. I've been drinking more since I started doing this podcast than the last <laughs> like four years. I was didn't drink at all, but I feel like it helps people relax. So I've been doing it. Sure and does. Out, and I've got a gluten rash on my elbows and my wrist. Welcome to thirty, right? Like, and, um, I would say Yingling. That's, that was my favorite. You, you I know, was so excited when it came to Missouri, and then fast forward two months, and I'm out of the game. You know, I. I uh, Yingling came to Ohio when I was in high school, but before that, it was a very, very big deal. Like to get mm-hmm. Yingling, like there was this. I had f- friends like the the their family would drive to Pennsylvania to get it, and they would like buy a pallet of it. <laughs> like, and so like I love I loved it then, and then it came to Ohio when I was in high school. And I drank the fuck out of it. And then, like, I didn't have it for a while, for a long time, until it came to Missouri recently. And then I, had, then I like, got a beer, and I was just like, man, I remember this being so much better than, like. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a good beer. I like it. Um, but I, I, I grew up spoiled. It was, like, guess, more, it was, like, it was, more, it was. Florida all my life. I think it was, like, more of a, a nostalgic beer for me. Yeah. Well, that's what it is right now. It's going like everywhere has it, and, every, and it's going like selling. Yeah, and yeah. Everybody's like, "Oh, we have Yingling now." But is there is there any uh, <laughs> beers that like they're like that like Stag? Stag is just here, you know. I yeah, I think yeah, it's I'm, South. I've seen. I think I, I I'd never heard of Stag until up here. Like yeah, I yeah. No, there's not Stag where I'm from. Oh, really? Familiar. Yeah. I no. 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 I definitely thought it was a Southern thing, but I didn't know. I it, well, I, I I've lived like I I grew up in Ohio. I went to college in Kentucky. Stag. There was not Stag until like I I I moved to the St. Louis area. What's the What's the best type of beer? type of beer yeah so like you've got nowadays you've got oh, ying see. you've got your lagers and your 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 ipas i, I, I your... you know i i like if i'm going for like a, an, a beer to enjoy i love stouts really stouts i do good. i love stout i love like i love again like oh, a well poured guinness get out of here with if you 
If you say, if you bring me a craft from... beer, it better be the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. So I can't stand most craft beers at all. So your favorite beer is Bush Light, but your favorite kind of beer is a nice stout. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really the know. complete opposite <laughs> of the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's said pretty, Bush. That's pretty wild. Yeah. That's pretty wild. But <laughs> that's funny, dude. Isn't Mother's of St. Louis? Yeah, right? Mother's is St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah. yeah, Mother's makes one of the Sunshine Chugsuckle, man. That is <laughs> Sunshine fucking... Chugsuckle. <laughs> that was my nickname in high yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> that's a delicious IPA. But I, I do, I think, but I think the the Yingling thing, I think it has a lot to do with moving here. Because St. Louis is such a good beer city. There's so many great, like, breweries and stuff around here that, like, (laughs) Um, like, I think I just, like. Yeah, I like Mothers and Forehands mm -hmm. is here, too. I, I, uh, my first, one of my first jobs in St. Louis, I, I was working in an advertising agency, and it was on, it was, we weren't affiliated with them, but we were on the third floor of the Schlafly Tap House downtown. Oh, nice. It was awesome and a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, Slafly, now, that, now that's the thing. Like, I knew of Boulevard before I moved up here. Yeah. And I had a buddy that uh, when I first moved up here, anytime I came home, he wanted me to bring him Boulevard. Cause it, and it still isn't in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. I got to know all the bartenders, and oh. I would, like, eat lunch down there. But like every That's the anytime, kiss of death right anytime there. they like got something new and they would just like feed it to me and I was getting fucked up on my lunch breaks. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you <kept it> back. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know what what's going on with the zoo. Like, why do we need to write an ad for him anyway? We 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 used to call that a gentleman's lunch. We would do it. <laughs> so so. On uh, when I was instructing, I had, you know, I had like six months left in my contract before yeah. it was over, and we were, you would get you would get the recruits for two weeks, right? You would teach them. Once was called like in the circles, which is where they would sit in bleachers, and I would talk to them, and then you would practice like get, how to get in the proper shooting positions mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And it was a lot of like classroom instruction, even though we were outside. And then they would go to get their lunch and it would give us like 45 minutes of free time which in the military free time does not it like you, like you, that you would capitalize on everything 40, that felt like that was a lot of free time and because of the job that i was doing i related i i only reported to the third highest guy in the entire like little area i was in and so nobody could tell us like hey we need you to go do this and be like oh sorry <laughs> you know, we got a, we got our own thing. Sorry, so no. we would go to the PX and we would buy a couple beers and then we would go back to this little like empty classroom that like it was only used for when it rains. But we're in Southern California, so we get rain. It would get used like twice a year. Mm-hmm. And so Fridays we would go in and we would have a gentleman's lunch and we would just try <laughs> to see how hammered we could get in forty five minutes. Then pull it off like to go back out and be like, all right. Now we're going to learn about trigger control. <laughs> <laughs> like, cross-eyed. Cross Dude, that is American as fuck. Dude, it was <laughs> so, I loved that job so much. It was just like being a comic, man. Because you would go out, you had stage time, you, you and you were like, just, it was you you're like, I'm about to. You were like, I'm about to go up. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I got another show to do. <laughs> I gotta get a set in. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta go teach prone. <laughs> you know, like, that's what we would call it. Like, I got prone class after lunch, and then I think we're gonna get into uh, tea bagging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then who knows? Uh, uh, we might, go, we might talk about the wind uh, this afternoon. I don't know. We'll see if we have time. That's funny. Uh, but uh, you would. I mean, that's what it was. You would go out there and you would. And then you would come back and you would hang out with all the other instructors in our little office space and just talk, you know, talk about like, oh, dude, my platoon sucks (laughs) this week. They're so stupid. 